Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Monday the 4th of May. So looking at uh, news today, uh, key news today, well there isn't much. Uh, we've got the EU economic forecast which are due out this, at some point today. So at some point because it's got a tentative timing uh, on, on my system now unless it's already been uh, published. Often comes out quite early sometimes. Often comes out sometimes. Well there you are, there's a, there's a statement. Okay, not seeing those figures out yet anyway, so uh, possibly this morning we'll see those, uh, but I um, mean they are for the next two years that data, so it's the forecast for the next two years, so you might have a little bit of movement coming from it, we'll see, but for now, um, Euro dollar, well the Euro started off in a downward track this uh, since uh, trading began there uh, it actually gapped down a little bit there it's found a bit of support off its four hourly 21 here weekly pivot however uh, it looks on the shorter time frame we've put this bullish engulfing on the hourly but uh, as we just hit the eight o'clock period here just selling off again uh, what would make me interested in the upside well if we get a break above this 60 minute uh, 60 minute 50 um, I'd be a bit more positive on it um, continuation to the downside there well um, we'll see how that, that develops this morning if it starts uh, rolling south we could be and we're already into uh, as I say the weekly pivot down towards uh, into the S1 on here um, so it does look soft at the moment and we just may see a continuation but uh, uh, I would need to look at a near-term trigger for that uh, downward movement, but as I said, it's a lot. It's almost easier this morning looking to see if it gets a bounce and it, it breaks these these highs here. Okay, that's the euro. Um, looking at the pound, well, the pound again. Uh, well, Friday was a, a solid old down day in the end. A uh, bit of a bounce there uh, this morning, but. Um, not massively encouraging. Well, coming off its four hourly 50 again, uh, we're seeing that sort of movement. But uh, as the market starts moving now, it's already started selling again. Hourly bullish engulfing. It's a very similar picture there. Um, yeah, it's a little bit less certain for me in terms of the break, although it has got the weekly pivot above, so maybe a break above that previous candle continuation move uh, may see us run towards that 60 50. Um, Again, to the downside of this is going to continue. Just need to watch it first thing this morning. I'm a little bit lacking in trust in the first sort of half an hour trading. Quite often we see quite the opposite thing happen and then it switches. So I uh, just need to watch this. But it may be that we get a, a setup in the shorter term um, within the next half an hour or so. And if we see that to continue, I'll look at the uh, downside. But for now, I do wonder whether these two markets will bo uh, bounce. Dolly yen. Well, yen is sitting in that sort of uh, no man's land again. It ended up in an inside day on Friday here. It's into its weekly pivot as I'm speaking, or near, pretty near it anyway. It's not quite there. It's uh, just consolidating again. It's, we saw this on uh, the early last week. They just consolidated. Didn't really give a lot of uh, idea to direction. We may just be seeing this again. People talking about risk on, risk off. Well, the risk is back on. Well, we should see this bounce up a little bit more, maybe. Um, weekly pivot, daily pivot, both above. Uh, may draw it up there, but well, it's got a fair few pips there to be had, I guess. Um, oh, it's not, sorry, I say fair few. It's about 13 pips. It's not as much as I was looking at. I was looking at a fifth def decimal point. So, um, the the better, fit, better side of that is if we did see this a, a, a rollover here because of just the price action that was occurring at the, uh, up until Friday there. But um, we'll see how this shapes up at the moment. I do wonder any rollovers, maybe if it gets into some resistance up here, retests and gives it a reversal up here, it may be worth a trade back. But at this stage, uh, when you look at the bigger time frame, it's too consolidated. So makes it more difficult to... Uh, get the idea of the direction. Aussie dollar, um, well up until last Thursday it was looking pretty strong trend and we've uh, recently we've seen these high lows, high highs come through on a daily basis. It still is looking, um, it's still an upward trend as I talk but uh, 
um, just looking at what was coming on Friday, sort of uh, Thursday, Friday's downward shift. Uh, I mean, it, you look at uh, sort of ball flags, and this is sort of uh, almost draping on the floor, um, as I quote sometimes. It's been a, a certain downside, um, downside move here. Um, a break above this morning high there at 6406 sort of area may just see it uh, uh, push back up here. It's got daily and weekly pivots above so it will give us a higher low. Maybe the uh, change at the end of this uh, short term trend here but we'll see how that shapes up. But it It isn't the prettiest at the moment. Canadian dollar from a swing basis. Well this has been softening up uh, bullish uh, Pivot swing there on the dailies, um, it's broken the top of that trigger, that sort of potentially further long side there. Um, a clear, as I say, clear trend really coming from Wednesday. Um, the opportunities here, well, if it was to start break rolling over, it has the weekly pivot sitting below there, but um, what we've got here kicking through just checking the alleys here there was a bit of divergence into the absolute highs there maybe if it does start selling off and we see the pound the euro start moving this too will start pulling back uh, towards its uh, weekly daily pivots down here but probably not a great deal of uh, price action sitting there um, to be had but we'll see um, maybe a swingy sort of picture later on in the morning Okay, that's pretty much there. We've been looking at oil. Um, oil's been edging up, edged up again this morning at the moment. As we run through this month, I do wonder if we will see a bit more of a correction on this oil price again. We've we'll, um, got the new contracts in about 18th of May, so we just need to be a bit careful here. But it is it is moving up. Uh, further at the moment. I'm almost looking at the sell side of this at the moment as opposed to the upside but I was looking on Friday and again it's just carried on pushing through. Um, may correct itself. Uh, we'll see. It's got the weekly pivot below but uh, certainly not looking for the long side at the moment. I know it is pushing up but uh, uh, there, is, there is reason why it may just correct itself quite significantly. Right, okay. Um, that's oil and the S&Ps. So the S&P's last week just shot through the 61.8 there a little bit. Um, again, seen a little bit of uh, uh, positivity through the Asian session here. Um, gap is just about nearly filled. Uh, not far off of being filled. That sit, sits there. Weekly pivot sits above. Um, daily and weekly pivot uh, sitting above there. We, as I say, the gap's near enough filled there. In fact. Yep, it's just short of the actual bodies, but it's, it's certainly fit the, filled the towels there. Overall, I'm, I remain bearish on the bigger picture, but uh, short term, this may come back up to, uh, as I say, to hit those uh, key pivots there. Um, maybe this morning, it may give opportunities later in the day for the short the sell side, but we'll see the reaction to back to those moving averages at that time. So. Um, <sighs> bit of waiting around this morning just to see as I say coming back to this euro for example just waiting to see what's happening at the moment it looks like well maybe just continue to the downside but it could just be falling us into that and you just see as I spoke there it just blips back up there short term just watching this it's sort of a could be just sitting off this bit of trend line here um, it's almost back to its original trend line not far off it uh, may just bounce react off that and continue to this uh, little uh, bounce that we're seeing Okay, right, I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.